in the end. And now, please welcome your host of MA today, Arya and Michael, and Peter and Harper! Why are we still people? Hello, Menlo Atherton. Welcome. This episode of MA Today is yet again in film, in, filmed in front of a live studio audience, Miss Cho's second period. <laughs> Bear Team is back at it again with your favorite casual format, bringing you the Monday news. Uh, welcome to Death Week, Bear Fam. If you're not feeling already, uh, we are. So just look at us. We love school. <laughs> Yuppers, we chillin', fam. Only like a week or so left. Till summer. Let's get it, boys. Pick up your cap and gown today at lunch in B21. Hey, live studio audience, what are, we, what are the seniors going to do? Cap and gown! Exactly. You know, that's, that's, that's where it's at. Hey! <laughs> Requirements for seniors, bring in the graduation ceremony or requesting transcripts. Um, you need to update your post high school plans and all college admission decisions on Naviance and complete both surveys. Thank you, seniors. Um, Metal Atherton, I know you enjoyed my OT Genesis reference uh, last time we were on, um, but did you remember what the source of the uh, great pun was about? Well, it was for you to avoid the long lines during senior clearance week. Um, and that should be done in the College and Career Center. So you should finish your College and Career Center pass as soon as possible. Come to the College and Career Center in the library conference room if you have any questions. Also, today is College Apparel Day. So if you see any of your friends, seniors, um, wearing college apparel, um, make sure to ask them where they're attending about their future after a Menlo Atherton. I'm sure they have a great story to tell. Speaking of seniors, please remember to pick up your cap and gown at lunch today. Attention all students, we have a schedule change. Caps and gowns. Yeah. And yearbooks, and, and I too. Gowns. Caps and gowns. Yeah. We Caps have a gowns. schedule change next week that you may not be aware of. Tomorrow, May 24th, is a Thursday block schedule. Therefore, this Thursday, May 26th, is a regular day. That is ahead of Friday, which is our sixth period final in the afternoon and a minimum day schedule during the morning. That means that Tuesday is a Thursday block, Thursday is a regular day, and Friday is your sixth period final. Yep, so remember that six period final is from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. on Friday after a minimum day educational schedule. I'm just so excited for my Friday final. Aren't you, Strack? Oh, I'm mad hype, Phil. I'm thrilled that my chance to study over the weekend has been ripped away from me. Thanks, administration. <laughs> but at least we don't have to come to school on Monday because it's Memorial Day. Have a fun holiday, Bears. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we have two finals a day from 8.45 to 1 p.m. Tuesday is zero period and first. Wednesday is second and third. Thursday is fourth and fifth. But for seniors, your finals will be over. And some of you have very special activities planned. So Tuesday will be a senior picnic. Wednesday, the senior breakfast and then mandatory graduation rehearsal. Be there. And Thursday, arrive for graduation by 3.30 p.m. in Ayers Gym. Carpool because parking will be limited, as it always That's is. Upside down. Also, remember to get your cap and gown if you want to participate in graduation. Today at lunch at B21. Real fast, seniors, Peter has misspoken. Please be there by 3 o'clock. Please do not come at 3.30 or you will be late. Don't listen to Peter. You said 3.30. Well, 3 o'clock p.m. Bears. 3 o'clock p.m. Bears. Speaking of bears, yearbooks. <laughs> yearbooks are on sale now in I2 for $125 each. Cash only. Do not wait, Bears, as we will run out and there are only 50 books left. Yearbook distribution begins today at lunch outside of I2. Speaking of Bears. For seniors only? For only seniors, seniors can get only. their yearbooks today at lunch outside of I2. Thank you. Speaking of Bears and yearbooks. Do you have nothing to do all summer? Oh, man. Do you want to remember your high school years? I really wish I'd bought a yearbook. Well, now you can. With your 2015 to 2016 MA yearbook, you can relive all your favorite high school memories. Here's how. 
Come to the I-Wing during lunch on Monday, May 23rd through Wednesday, May 25th with your ticket to pick up your awesome new yearbook. I'm so glad I bought a yearbook. Now I can look back anytime I want and see how pretty we were 20 years ago when we were young. Bring it with you to family reunions, to the beach, anywhere you please. It stores easily in bookshelves, even in your car. Look back on old sporting events, dances, rallies, and all the fun you had with your friends. You can no longer purchase yearbooks online, but you can still buy the book in person. Just come to i2 to buy yours today. Bring $125 in cash and you can have your very own 2015-2016 MA yearbook. Purchase now while supplies last. We only have 50 left, so buy yours today. We will sell out. Side effects include joy, happiness, fond memories, spontaneous combustion, and laughing. If any of these side effects occur, please seek medical help immediately. Hey, hey guys, what are the seniors going to remember to do? Captain Yes! Thank you. Thank you, studio audience. What a festive promo. I love to remember the good times from the year. Just as seniors love to remember their caps and gowns. Today at lunch. <laughs> yeah. All seniors planning to attend either community college or a four-year college must have a final transcript sent to the college. The required forms to order a transcript are in the guidance office, which is now located at C16. Thanks, admin. Final transcripts will be sent from the guidance office soon after all teachers have posted all grades to the system. <laughs> Requests for transcripts must be made before June 2nd, 2016. All students, come say goodbye to our talented seniors Thursday night from 6.30 to 9. That's right, Bears. Once again, it is time for our senior farewell talent show. <laughs> come see your fellow students perform songs, dances, skits, and other amazingly talented skills you might not know they have one last time on our PAC stage. If you can't make it, Manuela and I will be streaming it live on our YouTube channel, MA Bear TV. Remember to subscribe. Yeah. And in case you missed our film festival, or if you want to see the movies again, all film ent entries can be seen on our YouTube channel under the playlist MASFF2016. Check out Swamp Kings. <laughs> yep, check out Swamp Kings, everybody. <laughs> Leadership is hosting a spring toiletry drive. Please bring a toothbrush or toothbrushes, <laughs> soap, shampoo, any other items you think um, families in our area could need or use. Um, donations are being collected in B21, but do you know what else can be collected in B21 at lunch today? Caps and gowns. Caps and gowns. Caps and gowns. Caps and gowns. Students, after you've collected your cap and gown from B21, remember that today is the last donut club of the... Century. 2015-2016 <laughs> school <laughs> year. Not of the century. It Make sure to stop by C4 at lunch to buy this holy treat. Goodbye and congratulations <laughs> to all of our donut club executive board members, of which there are many. Madeline, Jordan, Nishant, Jaya, Katie, Abby, and Alexa, as they are all graduating seniors who will be wearing their college apparel today. Over the past three years, with these seniors leading the club, the Donut Club has donated over $8,750 to Second Harvest Food Bank, and the Donut Club has made over $3,000 this school year alone. The Donut Club would like to pass along that they'd like to thank all of their customers and welcome the new Donut Club executive board members, Olivia Tai, Casey Morris, Trevor, Thiele Sardina, and... Alana Bear. They will be leading Donut Club this upcoming school year. Those there at Donut Club hope you have a fabulous summer and help them celebrate the end of the school year by stopping by, that is right, the last Donut Club today at lunch in C4. Donut Club, filling the hole in society one donut at a time. And speaking of our love of donuts, caps and gowns, B21 today, Bears. And guess what time it is now? It's your favorite time. Ready? Pride Book Raffle! Pride Book prizes are awarded to students for doing something awesome, like helping out or just working hard. This week's winners are Evie Villai. Way to go, Ivy. 10th grade. <laughs> and Varisa Trabosh. Varisa. I tried my best. These shirts, they look like this. They're pretty fun. They're pretty festive. Go to the AVP office and get them. Yep.
The important thing is that the winners know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all we have for today, Bears. I'm Peter. A special thanks to our live studio audience, Miss Cho's second period, who just can't seem to forget. <laughs> We've had a spillage. Are you good, dude? <laughs> Wait, is he actually okay? He's good. That's Great. how dynamic our show is. That's anything That's can happen easy. here on MA Today. Anything. Well, thank you. It's been a colorful, colorful and fruitful year here at Menlo Atherton. I'm Michael Pham. I'm Manuela. Fam. And I'm Harper. Thanks for tuning in to Bear Team once a week, MA. We'll miss ya. We'll really miss you. We'll miss ya, MA. So much.